Hello there. Um, today we're going to be talking about the plugin LWC. LWC is an anti grief plugin which is used for bucket servers. Um, and if you have a server where you don't like other people accessing your chests and you don't like other people um, being able to uh, grief by grabbing all the items in a chest or a furnace or coming into a house by a door. Um, this plugin is for you. So let's get started. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to download the lwc.jar and I will put the download link in the description. Um, and once that is downloaded, you are going to drop it in your plugins folder, which is embedded inside the server folder, which we made earlier in earlier tutorials. Um, so once that's in there, we're going to start the server by going to the start.batch file. So let's double click that and it will launch the server and the first thing it's going to do if you look here it's going to generate or download the LWC extra files so if you look here it says it's done and that's good we can minimize this now we're going to go look at the configuration you'll see that it's generated two folders plugin metrics and LWC we can ignore plugin metrics um, that has to do with LWC and how it sends data to a certain website um, you can ignore this it doesn't matter we really ne will never go in this folder. LWC, on the other hand, is all the configuration. For example, core.yml, which is what we'll start with. This is a configuration file. I am going to make this small enough so we can see it within this window. Give me one second. Okay. And there we go. So here's um, some simple configuration. Uh, We'll start with core. You can keep this the same. This is English, is what local stands for. Um, flush interval, you can keep that the same. So this, this, uh, all these three, flush interval, cache size, and pre-cache, you can keep the same. You do not need to change that. That's for advanced users. Um, but we see show notices and show my notices. Um, I suggest keeping these the same. This means it'll show um, what is happening when a command is run that's a very good thing to have show my notices let's keep it false because we don't want to announce the server what we are doing um, op is lwc admin true you can keep that the same that pretty much means if you are an op on the server you get all admin commands disable history keep it false that gives the history of all that has happened with lwc tiny borders if you are using towny the plugin you may set this to true but we have not done towny yet so i suggest keeping that at false Group prefix, you can keep this at group, and update notifier, keep it true, because it's going to tell you if there's a new update. And here's some optional ones. Only protect when owner is online, you can keep that at false. This pretty much means when the owner of the protected block, for example, a door, um, is on the server, you can protect it. If they, be, if they exit the server, make the block unprotected, and vice versa, if they come back protected. And only protect when owner is offline, keep it false. So it pretty much means um, if it's pretty much the opposite of this one. If the owner is off the server, protect it. If they are on the server, do not protect it. Exempt blocks means you can um, keep blocks from not being able to be protected. For example, if you don't want someone being able to protect a dirt block, you can enter the dirt item ID in here opt out you can give it false blacklisted blocks are blocks that you don't have uh, that you don't want to have it's pretty much the same thing as exempt blocks blacklisted player for example if I wanted to blacklist myself which wouldn't make sense I could enter my username but as of now let's keep it at the default player use protection limits let's keep this at true and here's database you will ignore all of this this means if you want to add a database to the plugin so everything is saved to, for example, MySQL My or WAMP database, and that's probably something confusing that you don't understand, and that's perfectly all right. Um, and here's protections. Um, these are pretty self-explanatory. Deny redstone, deny hoppers, auto-register, uh, stuff like that. So auto, I'll explain one of these, or a few of them, the ones that don't necessarily make sense automatically. Auto-register means um, when you place down, for example, a chest, would you like the chest to be automatically protected? 
um, and that's uh, set it false for now. But if you set it to true, for example, um, it would l protect a chest automatically when you placed it down. And these are pretty self-explanatory. Um, yep. And so you want to keep read-only modify and read-only remove at false. And here's the blocks that will be auto-registered if you do it, and the blocks that will be protected. So say you lay down a chest. Um, it will be protected when you enter the protection command. Um, along with furnace, dispenser, sign, wooden door, iron door, trap door, fence gate, and trap chest. You can also add something in here if you'd like, such as dirt. Um, I'm going to do this. Dirt. And then you could do something like enabled. But since we are not going to add dirt, we can keep this the same as what it was. And there we go. Modes, drop, transfer, um, you can ignore this, and same with persist. This does not matter to us. So that's pretty much this configuration file. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. You can always look up a wiki if you need to, but you don't necessarily need to in this one. So let's save it and close. Now here's doors.yml. Let's open it up. Here's another configuration file. It says, enable the opening of iron doors when you click them. This means if you have a protected iron door and you right-click the iron door, it will open. So instead of having to open it with redstone or something along the lines of that, you can just have it open when you right-click it. I like this feature. It's a very nice feature with LWC, and I like to keep it at true. Double doors means if you have two doors, whether they're iron doors or uh, wooden doors, and they're put right next to each other, if you right-click one of them, will they both open? Um, I like this feature also, so I keep that at true. And um, here's actions, and you should just keep this at toggle. And then interval. Um, it means the amount of seconds after opening a door for it to close. No effect if open and close name is not being used. So since we are not using open and close, we will keep this at the interval 3, which is default. Now here's a limits version 2 and you don't need to look at this. Um, it's pretty much just overrides, so if you want to give someone unlimited protections, such as Notch, you can give them unlimited protections. Or you can give certain groups a certain amount of protections. Um, I like to keep that uh, as it is. It doesn't really need to be changed. And then here's magnet.yml. And um, this is kind of advanced. You really don't need to do this. I like to keep the magnet mode at default. Um, so let's just keep that at default. And then here's the database, which we will not get into because the database file is for for LWC only. And here's lib, which pretty much means extra files, native, Windows, 64, and SQL light <laughs> J database C. So Ignore this, ignore the lib folder completely, uh, as we don't need to look at it. And then here's backups. Backups will automatically be created if you specify them to be created in the configuration file. So that's pretty much how um, LWC configuration goes. It's pretty straightforward. It reminds me a lot of Essentials configuration, um, as it's pretty much just true, false, true, file, false, and the same with World Guard configuration. So uh, you'll pick up on it very quickly. If you need to, there should be a wiki on it. Um, but this should pretty much explain uh, how it works. So let's go back to the plugins folder and then the server folder. And let's pull up the server. Let's type in LWC reload. Oops. OK. Um, we will not type that. We will just type in reload. The reason I typed in LWC reload is I was expecting the plugin to have a reload command. Although it does have a reload command, you cannot use it in the console. So we just reloaded all plugins. So now that it is reloaded, we can launch Minecraft. And give me a second when I launch it. Okay, now the Minecraft launcher has popped up. We can press play and it will load all the Minecraft files. and in return launch Minecraft. So we already have a server set up and that is called local 
host, as already known. Oops, actually, that is wrong. Oh, no, never mind. That's correct. Um, it is localhost. So let me enter Minecraft. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Please excuse this part. Okay, enter Minecraft. And we are on the server we've created. So now we can type in some LWC commands. So I am going to set my game mode to creative. And I'm going to spawn a chest. Now we have the chest spawned. And you see down at the bottom it says created a private chest successfully. What that means is only I can use this chest. Other people cannot. So if some other person came on the server and said, hey, look, here's a chest, I want to access it, they would right-click it and it would say, you are not allowed to use this chest. Now, if I wanted to add that person to the protection, I can do that too. So to do that, I can type in C, modify, and then the name of the person I want to add to the protection. For example, Notch. And then I left-click it, and it has registered rights for the player Notch. And let me turn down all sound. Um, so that's pretty much how adding another person to protection works. So if Notch came on the server, which I doubt he would, he would be able to right-click this chest and use it. Now, um, if I wanted to remove all protections from this chest, I could type C, remove. And then I would click on it, and it would remove the lock on the chest. So that's pretty much how to use um, LWC. Uh, these rules also apply to doors, all kinds, whether they're trap doors, wooden doors, or iron doors. They will all be protected if I type C private. And then only I would be able to use them until I add another person to the protection. Now. Um, these commands are not the only commands in LWC. There are actually uh, many, many, many more. And I will give a link to the full commands page in the description below. Um, but I hope that has helped you uh, understand a little bit more on LWC and how it works. Um, and I will see you in the next tutorial.